Are you looking for a paddle that has a high dwell time but still has power and spin? Let's meet the Power Pro from Holbrook. Stay tuned. You're going to want to hear this. So the original Holbrook came out and it had a 3K carbon fiber face, really soft paddle, um, didn't have as much spin as they wanted it to have. So there were some knocks on the original model. Well, I got to say, they have improved this on the new model. So let's talk about the E first. Now the Pro, they come in a 12 millimeter, a 14 millimeter, and a 16 millimeter. Everything I'm gonna say about this one, these have the exact same characteristics, except with a little bit more pop, a little bit more spin. I'm gonna talk about the Pro E here for a little bit. All right, let's just go over the specs. This has 16 and a half inch length, seven and a half inch width, 7.7 .7 to eight ounces, so a little bit on the lighter side. 5.25 inch handle, so a little bit shorter handle with a 4.25 inch circumference grip. Now, I, I really like the grip on this, even the 16 millimeter. It doesn't feel too blocky, so they've done a really good job with nice thin uh, overlays here on the grip. Very good bevels on the handle, and even with the 5.25, it still feels comfortable in the hand. Now, a two-handed backhand might be a little bit hard to pull off with this paddle because it's going to feel a little bit tight on you, but it's still good for this one with the 5.25. You can still fit it on here it just may be a little bit tight for those of you with bigger hands with the lighter weight on this the 7.8 to 8 ounces i found that this paddle was very maneuverable very very good balance to it like it's not too head heavy it's not too head light so it felt very maneuverable and very sturdy paddle you know that this is a thermoformed unibody foam injected carbon fiber face this is a gen 2 thermoform paddle like most of the others but did they fix the problems of the original? The original had a 3K carbon fiber weave. This one now has a tight carbon fiber weave. It's still the T700 carbon fiber, but you can look at the pattern here. Very, very tight pattern compared to the original Holbrook. Uh, so, the, so it spins way better than the original Holbrook. Holbrook. Now, the other thing is the spin. Because of this carbon fiber pattern, this has way more spin than the original Mavi. Really good spin with this paddle. See, now I'm dialing in a little bit better. Good third shot drop. Able to get myself to the kitchen. And then once again, there, there's a little bit of the power. This is a really good upgrade as far as that goes. Now, the original I do not it was not a thermoform paddle, so this is obviously a Gen 2. It's going to have more pop. And so that's one thing that I found as soon as I picked this paddle up, I had to get used to the pop on this. My first dink battle with it, you can see him popping it up a little bit, just trying to figure out the power of it. But it still was able to control it pretty well, hit where I wanted, get a nice setup there. And then the put away power on this, you'll see later. Thing, It is a power pro. This thing has power. So your drives, anything that you're doing offensively, your pop, this has power and pop. So. But now I'm able to starting to dial it into the corner. You see all the way deep corner. I was able to put that. Really able to feel like I could put the ball anywhere I needed to. And then, then there's the end of the point. Yeah, really good power on overheads. A um, little bit head heavy on the paddle. So really good Four, three. balance it feels, but not too head heavy. A little bit of there, and then once again, the little little blocks, little block volleys, able to put some power on them. We've talked about this with paddles before, power versus pop. Power is when you're driving the ball, full swings, big wind-ups, that's a power shot. Pop would be half volleys, half hats hit, counter punches out of the air when you're in the, in the kitchen. That would be the way we would range the power versus the pop. I would say that this pedal's up there on both of these. This is not quite as poppy as the new Gearbox. That thing is Lightning or the Legacy Pro. It's not like that, but I would put it in the Carbon 1X range. Carbon 1X, the double black diamond 14 millimeter as far as power goes. So really, really good power on this. But does it do well on the soft shot? So after I adjusted and I was able to play a little bit more with this paddle, I was able to dial in the resets, dial in the dinking. The dinking was fine. It still felt like it had an amazing touch here. I'm able to start dialing this in a bit. Control for shots. Now I'm able to put really good pressure, really hitting a 
good cut or top spin with this. This has an exorbitantly large sweet spot. So this paddle has a huge sweet spot, very forgiving when there, when you work on your grip pressure. The other thing I like about this handle is I love the tapered grip here because you can really get a good grip on the bottom here with your fingers and really have a light grip. So it really helped with the resets as I was learning how to hit this paddle because I'm used to softer paddles. I play with the Selkirk Lux. That's my paddle of choice for tournaments and the Project 003 before that. So I really like control paddles. Power paddles are not my thing. No. Got a quick flick against Mark there. So really good power when you need it. Able to just flick the wrist and be able to get something out of it. But really good control in the kitchen. Two, five, one. Felt like I was really in control of the paddle the whole time. Then there's really good pop without much without much effort needed. Oh, Mark, I was waiting that now time. Now there, like I completely missed the ball. Um, had a good setup, completely missed it. But you can see I'm starting to be able to put some spin and be able to hit nice deep returns and deep serves with it. And in the deep battle, it really felt good. <laughs> and then there, Sorry, I just I pop it up for Dan. Horrible, horrible choice there. Completely changed my mind. Now look at the deep return. I'm able to just pepper the back line as I started dialing it in with the power of this paddle. Felt like really good control out of the whole thing. I really like the paddle. It's a one that I would play regularly. It made it into my regular rotation. This paddle here took a little bit of adjustment for me, but I was very happy with the performance. I was very happy with the way that this paddle played when I was playing it. I would put the swing weight on this around 115 and the twist weight on this in the high fives. Uh, this paddle has not been measured yet, so we'll have to wait and see if my statistics are correct. But that's what it feels like based on the other paddles that I've played that are similar to this. Uh, similar to the Groovin E with more pop. So the Groovin E is a little bit more muted feel than this. This is definitely a Gen 2 paddle. It has a great feel, great touch, great spin. I think it's a good paddle. Now, retail price on this is $220, but with our pirate discount, you get 10% off on that. And I just want to thank Holbrook for sending us these paddles for review. And I thank you for all of you that are using our code. That helps us keep the lights on here, helps us bring you these reviews so you can make good decisions on your purchases. But if you don't like Holbrook or you want to check out a different model, check these out. Yeah, they're good paddles.